Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Excel TV. Today, we would like to share the advantage of using subtotal and aggregate functions. Consider to obtain the cumulative credit average. Let's first try the subtotal function. For the subtotal function, we can choose the types of statistics that we want. For example, to sum up this range, we can take number 9, sum. We can double click or press the number 9. Press comma and choose the range that we want. Go to formula bar and fix the first cell. Since we want to accumulate starting from the first value every semester. Press enter and we should obtain the total. Now let's try for the sum function. Press alternate equal. Also go to formula bar and fix the first cell. Press enter and we should obtain the same total. It seems like no difference here. Let's try to go to filter and we select only 14 and blanks. Click on OK. The subtotal turns to zero. This is because subtotal always ignores hidden cell. But for the sum function, always take the selected cells. Now let's copy and paste for the rest of the semester. Do the same thing for the sum function. Now unhide all the cells. Click on OK. As we can see, for the sum function, unfortunately, we have double counted. This is because sum function consider also the previously total value. On the other hand, the subtotal will automatically ignore the previous subtotal, as we can see here. And this will not double count the values, not like the sum function. This could also be done by using the aggregate function. We type equal to aggregate. Also, we can choose the types of functions that we want to apply. For this case, again, sum. And we can choose the option that we want to apply. For the zero, we can ignore the nested subtotal and the aggregate functions. For one, we can ignore also the hidden rows. If let's say we don't want to ignore the hidden rows, we can choose the first option, which is zero. And we choose the array that we want. Also, go to formula bar and fix the first cell. Press enter and we should obtain the total. Also, we can filter and copy for the rest of the cells. Click and drag. As we can see, we can obtain the subtotal and the accumulation for each semester. As we can see, this is different from the subtotal, where subtotal always ignore the hidden cells, but we can choose to not to ignore the hidden cells under the aggregate function. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.